Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this formatted currency display label. So if I go ahead and change my coins value to a huge number, it will format it. And as you can see now, it says 3 billion. And if I just go ahead and give myself uh, a lot of gems, as you can see, it says 332k. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files from my very first tutorial to my latest one, including the one you're watching right now, they are all available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Alright, so the first thing we need is to create our leader stats. So I'm going to add a script to server script service and I'm going to call it leader stats. And what I'm going to do inside the script is get players service. So local players is equal to game from get service players and then players dot player added colon connect function and that's going to take the player as an argument and what we're going to do whenever a player joins we're going to create a folder inside the player we're going to call it leader stats so local leader stats is equal to instance dot new uh folder and leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats make sure to spell it correctly exactly like this or else it's not going to work and leader stats dot parent is equal to player and the next thing we're going to do is create a currency. So I'm going to create two, I'm going to create two currencies. The first one is going to be coins. So local coins is equal to instance dot new. And I'm going to make it a string value. I'll show you why in a bit. But for now, just follow what I'm doing. And coins dot name is equal to coins. Coins dot value is equal to and zero. And coins dot parent is equal to to leader stats and i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to change this to gems so local gems and just do this and i'm going to change the name to gems and now if you go ahead and play the game you should see that each player will have we're gonna have a leaderboard and it's going to display how many gems and coins we have now here's the thing if you don't want to have your leaderboard there, you can just disable it by changing the name of the leader stats with it to a capital L, the leader stats folder. And if you play the game now, it should not show up. But you should still have your coins and gems values. But I want it to show up, so I'm going to put it back. So leader stats. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you why we use the string value instead of an int value. Now, here's the thing. If you add an int value to the workspace, I'm going to rename it to int for integer, and I'm going to add a string value. I'm going to rename this to string val, string val. And if I go ahead and select my int value and set its value to a huge number, like uh, just a big number with a lot of zeros, it's going to default itself to this number. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a quadrillion or something like that. It's pretty much a big number. And however, if you use a string value, you don't have limits. So I can just put in a huge value and it's still going to be that huge value. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of these two values. And what I'm going to do now is add a screen GUI inside of start GUI. And I'm going to add a frame now i'm going to rename this screen gy to maybe currency and i'm going to take this and resize it so i'm just going to change the size to from offset to scale to scale now here's why so if i just go ahead and switch to mobile view uh, you're gonna see that this ui's size is messed up size and position is messed up so we're gonna have to fix that and the reason why is because the size is set to offset and not scale so just change the size to 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0 and then you're gonna be able to resize it freely and it will still be converted to scale automatically so i'm just going to give it a nice size something like that should be good i'm going to put it right here and i'm going to add a ui corner to it just to make it look a bit nicer so I'm going to change the corner radius from offset to 0 and the scale to 0 0.1 or maybe 0 0.2. Oh, that's too much. 0 0.15. Okay, that's perfect. And now I'm going to just add a text label inside the frame. And same thing again. I'm going to change the size to 0 0.1, comma 0, comma 0 0.1. Uh, comma 0 0.1, comma 0. 
and then I'm going to be able to resize it freely and I'm just going to center it right here and I'm going to change the background transparency of the text table to 1 and the text scale property to true and the text to maybe 1.3 million and I'm going to change the font to Fredoka one so I'm going to I'm going to try to look for it it should be right here okay this I love this font by the way and we're going to change the uh, text label name to label and then I'm going to change the text color to a full white and I'm going to add a UI gradient to the label and I'm going to change its color to a nice gradient now I want it to start from a nice yellowish color to white or maybe a more orange color something like that that looks good and I'm going to change the rotation to 90 degrees and maybe I'm gonna change this to white nope that doesn't really look good okay this is perfect now what I'm going to do is duplicate this entire frame I'm going to rename this frame by the way to coins and I'm going to duplicate it drag it here and I'm going to rename this one to gems and the one that I renamed to gems I'm going to change the raw gradient color to a nice okay first thing first is I'm going to change this to white and this to a nice blue a light blue and just like that okay that looks perfect now i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to center them by trying to find the green line which is right here and i think they should be centered now okay good now what i'm going to do is add a script inside of starter gy or maybe inside of the currency uh screen gy i'm going to add a local script i'm going to rename my local script to display client or maybe display currencies and i'm just going to go back to my base plate and i'm going to get this module now i'll leave a link to this open sourced module in the description and what you're gonna do is once you get it you're gonna go to studio and you're gonna go to the toolbox go to your inventory by pressing this inventory icon right here and you're gonna look for uh format number and it should pop up right there and i'm going to copy it to uh drag it here and i'm going to drag it inside of replicated storage now what i'm going to do is enter my current my display currencies and i'm just going to get replicated storage so local replicated storage is equal to game on get service replicated storage and this is pretty much a reference to replicated storage where our format number module is sto stored and local and local uh, players is equal to game on get service players and then we're gonna drop a line and we're gonna get the format number and so local format number is equal to require and replicated storage for my child format number alt and local player is equal to and players dot local player now right here what i'm gonna do is local uh, points is equal to players player calling wait for child leader stats calling wait for child coins and local gems is equal to player point for child leader stats point for child gems and uh, okay gems with a with a capital g and what i'm going to do next is select my screen gy and make sure that reset on spawn is and it is disabled so reset on spawn disable that and what i'm going to do now is local coins coins uh label is equal to and script dot parent calling it for child coins calling it for child label and local gems label 
is equal to script dot parent going with your child gems going with your child label. And what I'm going to do next is coins dot changed on connect function. And what I'm going to do is local text is equal to and format number dot format uh, dot format compact and uh, two number coins dot value and right here I'm going to do um, coins label dot text is equal to text and we're gonna copy this line of code right here and I'm going to paste it right here and what I'm going to do next is just copy this paste it here and do the same thing for gems so gems uh, gems dot changed call connect function I'm gonna change this to gems and I'm going to copy this paste it right here and I'm going to change this to text gems and this to, te to text coins and I'm going to change this to text coins and this to text gems I'm really sorry if that was confusing but I kind of forgot okay so this should work now so if I play the game it should say zero and as you can see it does say zero but as you can see it doesn't work for the gems so let's see why that is happening and okay so it's very simple to fix change this to gems label instead of instead of coins label so gems label and if you play the game now it should work so as you can see now it says zero and if I just go to the server and select my coins and I'm going to change it to a random number as you can see now it says 10k and if I make it an even bigger number like this oh I just messed up like this if I go back it says 131k and if I select my gems and change that number to as you can see it also updates which is great and yeah this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye